In the beginning, God creates the heavens and the earth in six days. He makes Adam and Eve, who spend their days with God, until they give in to temptation by eating from a forbidden tree. Sin enters the world, and things get so bad that God floods the earth and starts over with Noah and his family. Years later, God calls Abraham to follow him with the promise to make Abraham the father of a great nation. Abraham obeys, and God gives him a son, Isaac. Isaac's son, Jacob, has 12 sons. Joseph, Jacob's favorite, becomes second in command of Egypt. God uses him to save his entire family and Egypt from starvation. Hundreds of years later, the Israelites are slaves in Egypt. Moses is called to lead the Israelites out of slavery. Joshua takes over after Moses and leads the people into the promised land. After Joshua, God raises up judges, temporary military leaders like Deborah, Gideon, and Samson who protect and fight for God's people. The people tire of this leadership and they call for a king. God gives Israel King Saul, King David, and then King Solomon. But it's all downhill from here. The people rebel. The kingdom of Israel is divided, and everyone turns their back on God. Prophets like Elijah, Isaiah, Micah, and Jeremiah warn that if people don't repent of their sins, there will be consequences. But the people ignore their warnings. The divided kingdoms are conquered, and God's people face captivity in foreign lands. People like Daniel show great courage and stand up for God when no one else does. Some of the exiled people return to the promised land, but for 400 years, God is silent. No prophets, no miracles, and no angel visitations. But then, the silence is broken when Jesus is born. He lives a perfect life, teaches truth, and performs miracles, proving He is God. He shows us the full extent of God's love by taking our place and dying on the cross for our sin. He is placed in a grave, but three days later, Jesus rises again, conquering sin and death. His followers travel the world, sharing the good news of His love and starting churches. We now are part of this story and we have the chance to change the world and share His love because one day He will crack open the sky and He will return. It's the greatest story ever told.